Continuing on the custom car review street, we're going to be talking about an LR Carnival Cell Max, and it's coming in from Sam. But before I go ahead and read Sam's card, send me custom cards over to vhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card in the near future while I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. So with that being said, Sam says, in honor of us getting Beast going for part two of the ninth anniversary, here's Carnival LR Cell Max. And this was sent on Valentine's Day of this year. Huh. Well, interesting. So, um, let's just jump straight into it. Now, okay, so the incomplete ultimate life form, Cell Max, and his uh, typing is extreme physical. Of course, he's an LR, of course, because he's a carnival LR. Those are stats I've shown. Uh, high defensive stat while having a good offensive stat, too. His leader skill is super bosses, three key, and 200% across the board. Makes sense considering that this card concept is a carnival LR. He stacks defense and gains a 30% attack for four turns and does colossal damage to enemy on his 12 key. And on his 18 key, he greatly stacks attack and gains 50% defense for four turns while doing meg colossal damage to all enemies with a 50% chance to stun. So he has good super attack effects. Now, his passive, he activates the interest animation once only and gets 66% attack and defense, as well as 30% damage reduction for four turns from this character's entry turn so a good entrance animation buff that being attack defensive buff as well as damage reduction for those first four turns so he also gets 200 attack and defense at the start of the turn and he gets additional 100 attack and 66 percent defense when attacking so nice he also gets 60 percent damage reduction when this character is the first uh to attack in this turn two key per keys were obtained 66 percent attack and defense and he lowers his damage reduction by 30 percent and it heals 50 percent hp when this character receives his eighth attack in battle interesting and he survives ko attacks when hp is 66 percent or less okay that's nice he has that just to have that in his back pocket and he has a 50 percent chance to delay enemy action for once within the turn okay that's strong so what is that it's a 50 percent chance to have a free ghost usher for that turn, that's very strong. No matter if it's a 30% chance, a 50% chance, that procs. Um, that's consider that just like a stun within the turn. I'm pretty sure delay enemy action is a ghost usher. I'm pretty certain that's what it is. Okay. And he gives extreme class allies four key and 60% attack and defense when the domain red ribbon army runes is active okay and his active skill domain red ribbon army runes active for five turns and he gives extreme class allies and enemies 10 percent damage reduction and super class enemies take 20 percent more damage and he can activate it from the fourth turn of battle and his links are android assault berserker bbb red ribbon army brutal beatdown fierce battle legendary power in this category, super bosses, androids, artificial life forms, movie bosses, and exploding rage. So while we're on the the concept card of Cell Max, let's see if all the categories match this Cell Max we do get in the future. Because this guy releases when? He releases what's that? It's June eighteenth of twenty twenty four. I believe that's June. Yeah, um, so the only category he's missing is Last Resort, but that's, I'm pretty sure Last Resort is what, Final Trump Card? Yo, Last Resort sounds like a way cooler name. I think Last Resort is Final Trump Card, right? It is. Yeah, it is, right? Let me just double check that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Final Trump Card, but, um, yeah, the only category he misses was the, uh, for this one. So, almost almost accurate to what card we got in game for categories of course um why does this guy have infighter interesting so lr cell max and vanilla dokkan as infighter um of course red ribbon army makes sense but he doesn't have red ribbon army for for dokkan for in game i mean berserker makes sense nightmare makes sense infighter i don't really get why he has infighter Android Assault makes sense. BBB makes sense. Um, I think Red Ribbon Army makes a whole hell of a lot more sense to have on here than Infighter. I mean, Infighter is a garbage link. 15% attack and debuff the enemy's defense by 50, 15%. Not 50%. Oh, my God. I mean, even if it was debuffing it by 50%, it's, I mean, it still wouldn't be. Eh. But, yeah. I'm going back over to the card. Um, This card can get up to insane amounts of 
damage reduction. So turn one, this card has 90% damage reduction. Because within those first four turns, you're going to have that free 66% attack and defense. And that 30% damage reduction, you sit this guy inside the first slot, he's going to have 60% damage reduction. On top of his already 30% damage reduction within those first four turns, um, that's 90% damage reduction. As well as him being a support type, and you get to the fourth turn, and that, that damage reduction wears off, and he becomes a monstrous support type unit to extreme class characters. When he pops his domain, he's giving extreme class allies 4 key, 60% attack and defense, as well as 10% damage reduction. Okay, crazy support. Uh, crazy high damage reduction before he gets into his domain. Um, he does take... He does lose damage reduction when he takes the 8th attack in battle, but he does get that free heal. So he gets a free heal... He does get additional attack and defensive buff with it while while uh, losing that 30% damage reduction. But he does also have... Uh, he has an interesting design. I think this design is very interesting. This card... I'm gonna assume this card is meant to blitz content. I like to assume because you're greatly stacking attack. And you're still gaining attack buff when you double super. This card is missing... I don't know. I probably wouldn't comment too much on this card because I, within the first couple of turns, he has 90% damage reduction, two keeper keys are obtained, as well as what else? Yeah, I think that's it. 90% damage reduction, two keeper keys are obtained, uh, as well as an attack and defensive buff when he's attacking because he gets 100% attack and 66% defense when he attacks. So that's nice considering the fact that he has very strong super attack effects on his 12 key he's stacking defense while raising his attack for multiple turns as well as greatly stacking attack and basically gaining 50 percent defense for multiple turns as well so strong super attack effects within the first early turns he's very strong defensively and after that fourth turn where he loses that damage reduction and of course after he, he takes all eight of those attacks he's going to be looking i still think he's going to be looking good i mean although he's losing 30 percent damage reduction from that 60 percent right yeah he's still losing that yeah i mean the, the nice thing is that he can survive ko attacks he does have that in his back pocket if he activates this if he activates this delay enemy action once within the turn this is so strong like if you have double cell max on each rotation this is like so so strong i'm assuming that's a ghost usher assuming so um i i like the design yeah, he does have a lot of stats in his uh in his passive. 66% attack and defense right over here within the first four turns. 200% attack and defense right over here. 100% attack and 66% defense right over here. He does get additional attack and defensive buff when he loses a damage reduction and does gain that heal, so he, he gets more stats there. Um, And, of course, he gets more stats for that support type buff when he pops his domain. Yeah, so, like, he says stats, 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 uh, stats, and then stats. Yeah. As well as him having very strong super attack effects. So, very strong super attack effects. Uh, this guy has a very strong domain. Of course, with that monstrous support of giving 4 key, 60% attack and defense, and 10% damage reduction to extreme class allies. Yeah, that's very strong. Yeah, I mean, I don't have much more to say. Strong early within his early turns, and even after he loses that damage reduction and gets that free heal, I still think he's going to be very, very good. Because he's sacking, he's sacrificing his damage reduction for more stats and a heal. You can definitely take that trade off. Could you? But you do have to throw him in that first slot for that damage reduction, though. Hmm, that's probably the only thing about this card that can be a little iffy. When he takes that 8th attack in battle. Because you will, you probably would not want to sit this guy in the first slot after his interest animation buff wears off. Because he's going to be losing that attack and defensive buff. As well as that damage reduction within those first four turns. Ah. So he's, he's really strong at the beginning of the fight. And as the fight goes on. I mean even with his domain. He's still going to be looking very good. He's still going to be looking defensively sound. No. Because he 50% defense for four turns is bananas. And I just noticed this guy doesn't have any additional super attack chance inside his passive. If he had that to help him stack up his defense. That would definitely help. For sure. For sure. Interesting design. Interesting design for sure. I'd probably only add... I'd probably give him... I don't know. If I was to put anything else on this card, I would say additional super attack chance so he could, it could help him stack his defense. That's one thing. And maybe give him... 
30% damage reduction when, well, or maybe guard, maybe guard, give him guard as the second or third attacker in a turn, so that way with his very high amount of defense, he can take, he can take those supers when he does a super himself, when he does a post super attack, when he supers first and the boss supers him, he'll be able to take those big attacks. That way he'll just have the damage reduction inside the first slot and the guard inside the second or third slot. Maybe that's what I would throw on him. But yeah, I'd say interesting design, nonetheless. Yeah, very interesting design. Sam W card. But um, yeah, I think that is about it. Send me custom cards over to VHDF custom cards at gmail.com so I can go ahead and view a custom card in the future. I'm getting all these older custom cards out the way. Join the 24-7 Discord server, my Discord server for Dokkan and all the other good stuff down below in the description below. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. You guys are the greatest. And I hope you guys know that. Peace.